Welcome back. It's day two of Vacation Bible School, and we are remembering how Jesus has sent us into the world. All week long, we're focusing on how Jesus has sent his church, and that's us. All believers in Christ are part of the church. He has sent us into the world with his good news to help others to know it and to be a blessing to those around us. So let's sing our opening song and let's get started. Sure. 
All right, do you remember our memory verse from yesterday? Well, if you don't, maybe go back and review it. Today, though, we're going to get on to a new memory verse, and we're going to take God's Word, hide it in our hearts, remember it, and take it with us wherever we go. So here's today's memory verse. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Again, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. All right, it's come time for maybe the most important thing we're going to do this entire time, and that is hearing from God as he speaks to us through his word. It's time for our Bible reading. So listen closely because you're going to hear the word of God, and then you're going to see, again, some of our kids acting out what they hear in the word. Then we'll talk about it. All right, here we go. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak to in other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at the sound, the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others, mocking, said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them, Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This Jesus, delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up loosing the pangs of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, and for your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. 
Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 14a, 22 through 24, and 37 through 41. Since it's Pentecost, don't you think we should go to the temple? You're right. Peter, are you sure you didn't misunderstand this? We've been waiting forever. I'm sure of it, and when Jesus says something, you know it's true. I can be sure of that. What's that? Sorry, I was hungry. Seriously? Man does not live on Cheetos alone. What's going on, guys? Well, I'll be. I knew they were hot, but I didn't know they were that hot. Peter, it's not the Cheetos. You have one, too. What? Hola, senor. Bonjour. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo estoy bien. Yo me llamo. Cuando está tu escritorio? ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Sí. Muy bien. ¿Qué pasa, señor? Mi padre es muy gordo. Mamma mía? How can we hear them in our no own native language? What does this mean? They've had too much wine. <laughs> Men of Judea, and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and give ear to my words. These people are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst. As you yourselves know, this Jesus you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up, losing the pangs of death, because it was not possible for him to be held by it. God has raised this Jesus to life, and we are all witnesses of the fact. Let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Brothers, what should we do? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, for the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. Praise the Lord. Baptize us, Peter. Let's go to the temple. I don't know what I was thinking. Tongues of fire on the heads of the disciples. Well, those tongues of fire were really just a, a way of being able to see what God was doing. And you know what he was doing? He was sending the Holy Spirit to be with his church. Jesus had promised he was going to do this, and now he does it. The Holy Spirit comes to the apostles, fills them, and helps them then to do what Jesus told them to do, as we heard about yesterday, when he sent them to make known that good news, that he is the Savior of the world, and that by faith in him, everyone can be saved. So Peter's filled with the Holy Spirit, and so what does Peter do? He preaches that gospel. He speaks that good news. He tells everyone, here's who Jesus is. Here's what Jesus has done for you. Here's why you need a Savior. Because of all of your sin, you would be separated from God without Jesus. But because of Jesus, you can have life. And so when the people hear the message of all of what Jesus has done... They're cut to the heart. That means they feel awful because they realize how sinful they are. And they say, what can we do? 
And what does he say? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit has come to the apostles. Now the Holy Spirit is being given to all of these other folks as they are baptized. See, when you were baptized, you received the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came to you to dwell within your heart. The Holy Spirit has filled you. And so now the Holy Spirit is with you, just as the Holy Spirit was with Peter and the other apostles and is with me. The Holy Spirit, the, God, the Spirit of God, is now dwelling within us. And he keeps us in the faith. He keeps us trusting in Jesus. But he also... He also works through us. Again, to do what, what Jesus said his church was supposed to do. To make known that good news that he is the Savior of the world. So, if you are baptized, you can know the Holy Spirit has come to me. I'm baptized. I'm a, I'm a baptized child of God. The Holy Spirit dwells within me. If you're not baptized, hey, talk to your pastor about getting baptized because it is a way by which God gives you the gift of the Holy Spirit so that you can have faith in Jesus and you can carry out what Jesus has sent his church to do. All right, now let's continue with our next song. project for today yet. You're going to be making a pinwheel. Uh, and this is something that you're, you're going to be able to design and make it look beautiful, but you can also remember that it, it kind of shows us what the Holy Spirit was doing. So you can't see the Holy Spirit doing his work, just like you can't see the wind, but you can see the effects of it. So if we blow on that pinwheel, you know what it's going to do? It's going to spin around because the, the breath is causing that to happen. Well, the Holy Spirit at work in us is going to bring about good works. It's gonna bring about a different way of living as the Holy Spirit does his work in us. So I hope you enjoy the craft. I hope you can remember how the Holy Spirit is at work even when we can't necessarily see it directly happening, we can see the results of it, just like we can with the breath and the pinwheel. All right, we've come to the end of our second day of Vacation Bible School. We remember on day one how Jesus sent his church into the world. Now, we remember today how 
the Holy Spirit has come to us, filled us, so that when, when, when we're baptized, the Holy Spirit comes to us, and now we are empowered by the Holy Spirit and sent into the world so that others can know what Jesus has done for them as well. Let's close with prayer, and then we'll sing our last song of the day. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have made us your own. You have called us to faith in you, and you've given us the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit who, who actually works faith in our hearts and keeps us in the faith. The Holy Spirit who comes to us in baptism and causes us to be able to trust in you and live for you. And, and we thank you that the Holy Spirit empowers us so that we can speak the message you have given us to speak to the world so that everyone can know that by faith in Jesus, they can have everlasting life. Be with us this evening. Help us uh, to share the love of Christ with others as we are sent by him. And bring us back again tomorrow to learn more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Let's sing our last song.
since it's Pentecost, don't you think we should go to the temple? You're right. No, you're okay. You're good. So <laughs> What's so funny, you guys? Ready go. What was I? What was I about to say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Hmm. 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 Hmm.